ocultas, como ponen persas culpas, o somerse el contritos, así ponen de la Virgen, después ser saos peitos, o a la veo a un hombre, por pecados que pensera, que faltó le dos miembros, tu ador que hubiera, en tu rúa así sin caños, que moverse no Hello guys, welcome back on my channel, thank you for tuning in. I'm back uh, to the spot I detected last time. Um, it's a small stripe uh, where the farmer harvested uh, the land already. And uh, I was quite uh, yeah, uh, happy with the result of last time. I found uh, a couple of Roman coins, a big us as well, which is quite unusual for my side. And uh, of course, I'm hoping for more finds of this kind. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, I get ready to detect and I'll be back when I got my first find. Yeah, I didn't uh, take long to come up with the first uh, signal here. It's a bit uh, broken, but it's a lovely signal. Uh, yeah. Let's see what it is. Yeah, as I said, it's broken, but um, I dig it anyway. I have uh, the discrimination at very low levels because I don't want to miss anything here on this field. Oh, I see it already. Oh. That's interesting. Come closer. As you can see, it's uh, made out of lead and uh, it looks like, I don't know, <laughs> it's uh, very ornate, but um, I have to take a closer look later what it could be. Wow, very strident signal. Uh, the item has to be close to the surface. Let's see. Yeah, another thought. Oh, <laughs> it's silver, guys. It's silver. Look at this beautiful silver coin here. You can see it uh, on the edges. Uh, it's uh, silver shiny. Um, it's uh, crusty uh, and I uh, won't rub it. Uh, can't show you any details here on the field, but as you know, there will be a close-up picture, like always, uh, right after this. Guys, I made a fantastic find here. Take a look at it. This is uh, a fibula. Um, it looks very, yeah, alemanic, <laughs> but uh, this is only uh, my Lyman thought about this uh, 
beautiful item. Uh, it's a late antique, I would say. Beautiful patina and uh, very ornate, lovely piece of history. Um, this uh, gives me hope to come up with, uh, um, yeah, hopefully a lot more beautiful finds here today. This time it's a coin from the late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, 10 Pfennig. Yeah, I love the German eagle on these coins. Yeah, they are beautiful coins in general. Wonderful button here. Look at the beautiful design it got. And uh, it's still got the shank as well. It's a complete beautiful button. Very happy about it. Yeah, it's a clay marble. Uh, this could be very old. Could be a Stone Age toy. <laughs> yeah, wonderful surface find. Yeah, my next find is a very delicate one. It's uh, gilded. I don't think it's too old. I guess um, Baroque or later. But it's a beautiful uh, item, whatever it is. <laughs> I have to give you a live dig on this signal here. <laughs> uh, okay. It's only a piece of copper wire. I found the next silver coin. And this one looks old here. Could very well be medieval, I hope so. We will see. Unfortunately, the tractor uh, hit it last time it went over the field. It's a shame. But uh, most of it is uh, in pretty good shape, so it could have been worse.
Here's the first Roman coin of today. Uh, it should be a Follis according to the size. It's quite grotty, I can't uh, see anything at the moment. But uh, I'm approaching uh, the spot of the field where um, the Roman coins came last time as well, so I'm hoping for more. <laughs> Here we have one Fennig from the late 1800s, early 1900s. Found the next Roman coin and it's in beautiful condition. Of course, it's uh, clipped uh, at the edges, but uh, the details are very beautiful, um, crisp. You can see the emperor's head. And on the back side, uh, you have uh, two soldiers and two standards. I think it's uh, Gloria Exercitus, but I will give you a proper definition later. I found the next silver here. And this coin looks old as well. It has uh, the size of a Kreuzer. I can imagine that, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it could be from the 1700s, maybe 1600s even. But maybe I'm uh, totally wrong. <laughs> we will see. Uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, it uh, lost the battle against the plow. It's unbelievable. Two meters, three meters away from the spot where I found the first silver coin. Uh, I had this find here. Uh, yeah, and it was a surface find. It's it's another uh, silver coin. It's a Kreuzer, I would say. Uh, and uh, even though it's quite mucky, uh, I can tell that this one will provide uh, nice details later when I have given it a clean. <laughs> it's the next silver coin, I can't believe it. Yeah, these uh, small little silver kreuzers are very tricky when they are in depth. You only get a blip um, and uh, sometimes a scratchy sound as well. So uh, you have to scratch away a few inches of the topsoil and then um, yeah, the signal will brighten up and uh, you get the lovely silver signal on the deals. This was uh, almost 10 inches deep, which is amazing for such a small coin. Uh, it should be a Kreuzer, as I said, and uh, I reckon this one is a bit older. Um, could be 1700s, we will see.
Here again the finds of today, uh, a late antique fibula, very ornate piece of lead, a gilded object here, beautiful button, a clay marble, 10 pfennig, 1 pfennig, a follis and another follis from the Constantinian era. Uh, this is two albos, uh, six kreuzer and uh, three more beautiful silver kreuzers. I can't complain about the amount of uh, silver I found today. It's uh, amazing. Not much in the way of trash, as you can see. Yeah, guys, I hope you liked my video. Um, I liked it very much here. Uh, the sun is out. It's uh, very intense. I feel it on my skin. Um, I, of course, have to use sun blocker here, otherwise I would get sunburned. Um, but it's not too hot, uh, which is quite nice. And there's a very nice wind as well going on. So uh, it was uh, very pleasant and enjoyable today. The field is very interesting. Um, silver coins are littered all over the field uh, from different um, yeah, centuries. Uh, in the middle of the field uh, there is a Roman spot uh, where the Roman bronze coins came uh, this time and last time. Very interesting. Uh, of course I took the um, GPS coordinates of the finds like I always do and it will be very interesting to see the clusters and uh, the hotspots on the map later. Uh, it's always very interesting and you can tell a story about the field um, if you do it properly. I hope um, you will stay tuned on my channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already I would be pleased if you do. Thank you for that. Until next time I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen.